Hello, my name is Garrett with Birch Boys Inc. And today I'm gonna to show you a few of my favorite ways to prepare chaga tea. The first way that we're gonna go over today is using a slow cooker or a crock pot and brewing the chaga chunks. This is a new package that we've ordered for our chaga chunks. And it's kind of funny because this is how I started selling chaga when I was 15 and taking it to farmer's markets. And it's kind of weird now, five years later, working back to prioritizing the chaga chunks. It kind of feels like Birch Boys classic, <laughs> but um, we're gonna go over this. Uh, we're excited to have these new boxes and encourage people to order in bulk because it's really sustainable and I think it makes a better tea. So inside of our box, we have a bag of one pound of chaga chunks. You can open this up and it's resealable with these tabs at the end. And basically what you have are these golf ball sized pieces of chaga. So for a slow cooker of this size, which is only about two quarts, that's a half a gallon, well, we really only need one of these pieces to brew a nice rich dark tea. So it may seem like you'd wanna use more than that, but I assure you a little goes a long way. Uh, so we're gonna demonstrate with a small piece like this, uh, just how much tea you can get out of that. And uh, it's gonna brew very rich and dark and you can actually reuse the chunks as well. But a general rule of thumb for choosing the right amount of chunks per water is use a golf ball size piece to about a gallon of water. This is a little bit smaller than a golf ball. We have two quarts, so that's what we're gonna go with. And you don't have to overthink this process. You know, I encourage people to play around a little bit. You're gonna make tea, it's gonna work, you know, regardless of how much you use, and you'll learn from having done it. I like this crock pot because it's also a ceramic container. Uh, you're not getting any contaminants. We're not microwaving this in a tea bag, and we're using purified water. So now we're going to set the crock pot to low heat. If you are in a rush and are trying to make tea a little bit quicker, you can put it on high and uh, that will help bring it to the right temperature a little bit quicker. So we're actually probably gonna leave it here on high for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then switch it back down to low. And then when we keep it at low for three hours, uh, we can return to this and we're actually gonna see a remarkable change. It's gonna be a very rich black chaga tea. Basically, after you've done that, you're finished making the tea. And there's a number of things you can do at that point. You can either leave the chunk right here, and as you drink cups of tea, you can continue to replenish it with fresh water. You could alternatively take the chunk out uh, if you wanted to store this cold or iced, and then put that chunk in a plastic sandwich bag and store in the freezer until your next use. It's now been about three hours since we put the chaga in the crock pot. And we're gonna put it into this cup here, pour a cup um, to show you guys the color. So I would get a little scoop or a ladle or something like that. This is just after a couple hours here. The darkness of the tea is a little darker than you would get from steeping a tea bag. Uh, this is definitely perfect consistency to get the benefits of chaga tea, but the darkness is really the indication of the potency and the benefits, and it will continue to get much darker than this. By the second day of steeping the chunk in this slow cooker, you're really gonna have a nice rich batch of chaga. So my personal favorite, again, is the crock pot. Uh, I hope you try it out. Purchase our new package of chaga chunks if you forgot any of the information that we discussed here, there are brewing instructions. 
here on this big box and big letters. So we hope you give it a try.